and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Esper Stacks. This is a pretty popular deck right now. I've had a lot of people uh, suggest that I should try it out. And we got some people here in chat excited to see the deck in action. So what this deck is, is all about is it's about Doom Foretold. And I, I wish this deck was called Esper Doom, but it's just referred to as Esper Stacks on a lot of other um, sites and everything. And it's what people are calling the deck. Um, it's a it's a reference to the card Smokestack in an old deck way back in the day. I, I wish it was just called Esper Doom myself. But anyway, let's check out Doom Foretold. So uh, this enchantment is going to be like our, our main way to grind opponents down. We uh, you know, each like during their upkeep, they have to sacrifice something. Then our turn, we have to sacrifice something and so on. And so, like, we need extra permanents to be able to sacrifice, and so that's why we got these four Golden Egg, four Guild Globe. You know, like, these are just permanents that to sacrifice, but they also cycle to help us, like, hit our land drops, find Doom Foretold, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's, like, the main the main uh, part of our deck. Besides that, we just ha kind of have some control elements. You know, we got Sweepers. We got Teferi, of course, because this card's just amazing. Thought Erasure is incredibly good as well. Murderous Rider is basically a Planeswalker removal spell. That's why we got Murderous Riders in the deck. So, you know, like, that's that's kind of what we're doing. So we're, we're like, uh, killing all their stuff, using the Doom Foretold to grind them down. And then in the late game, we got our combo card. We got Dance of the Mance. Uh, we basically want this to be six or greater to be able to turn our permanents into four fours. But we can also bring it back. We can also do, you know, less if, if need be. Um... Yeah, like if we need to just draw two, if we have two of these eggs in our graveyard, we can, you know, have X be two and bring them back. But yeah, so we have X is six or greater. Those permanents are four fours. So, you know, we can bring back like six of these. So we want to, you know, so we'll be able to like sacrifice um, those things and bring back Doom Foretold and Othakaya and all that kind of stuff. So that's what our deck's about. I've, <clears throat> I just took like, this is like a recent 5-0 list for like this specific list. Except for there's two Narsets in the sideboard, but I've been told that this deck really struggles with the Field of the Dead at Golos decks, and we've seen a lot of those around today. And so I'm taking the Narsets out. I'm going up to four on Mordigo. Just want to um, really on Mordigo quite a bit here. So let's give this a try. So we got Esper Stacks. Stacks on Stacks. All right, so we're going to play over in Ranked. We got our rank up stream today. Hopefully our deck does pretty well for us. <laughs> Doom Dance. For Doom Foretold and Dance of the Mance. Soul, what's up? Got a wonderful new sub here. Thank you so much there, Soul. And everybody got those hype boats in the chat as well. Thank y'all. And there we go. Sub number 16 on the day. Getting towards another sub goal. You've been building a Demir tempo list using mill synergies. Don't think we need that land. Ran a big post about it on Reddit. The list is around the middle of the post. Can you give it a quick look and give me your opinion on it? Um, I don't know if I'll be able to give that a quick look here while streaming. Um, but... But yeah... You know, uh, maybe somebody in chat can also. But yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for getting around to, to subscribing. I'll have to check that out later. Maybe you know, mill, um, blue black mill. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll get to that deck later on. Um. So I'm not sure about Teferi Bounce. 
Golos, because then they just get to play Golos again and get to another land into play. Yeah, it's it's all good, Rox. You're all good. Hey, there you go. Got a sub from Boot. Hype. Thank you so much there, Boot. And now, Boxer Rox, you, get, you have your own hype boats. You get to send them out. Whenever, you know, whenever we get a new sub. All right, get in the doom and play. I don't, like, this is probably going to be a loss for us. Yeah, I don't really see us winning probably, like, game one here. But hopefully with, you know, hopefully after sideboarding, we have better shots. Okay. Kind of digging towards dance with the mance here. <laughs> well, you just have to play zero zero crisis because you know, the reason why people are playing these zero zero crises is because of um <clears throat> is because of Golos. You know, like, whenever you activate Golos and you reveal Krasis, you can't do anything but just make it a 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, no, cannot sacrifice zombies to Doom Foretold. It's non-token. Non Kenrith Haste finishes that out. Um, maybe I don't play all these duresses also. Yeah, I mean, Ken yeah, Kenrith makes a ton of sense for the Golos deck, for sure. All they did was give Field of the Dead new stuff. Didn't give anybody anything to fight Field of the Dead. Hey, what's up, Rick? 
Thanks so much there for the sub there, Rick. That's our 18th sub of the day. Don't know exactly what else I'm supposed to be cutting here. I mean, I guess I don't need to play to spark, I guess. Hmm. Kind of cutting like a lot of those cards I just brought in because I don't have um, don't have room for them in my deck. How's the new standard been? Um, it's been pretty good. I... I'm 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 definitely worried about you know we kind of talked about this before but I'm definitely worried about the field of the dead decks You know, I, I could definitely see in a scenario in a month, you know, like in a month from now, like where they're just kind of everywhere and and dominating. Yeah, got a field of the dead in play. So two Ashiok, two Ego over there. I think a full four Golos. Looks like three at least. Four, yeah, there's four Golos. I kind of have nothing over here. Just have to waste Kaya's rats on a land. This does feel pretty rough matchup wise. Not cracking the land because I know I just have two lands down to the bottom. It's 
I may just want to crack Fable Passage so I don't have to just sit here and click OK to everything, though. Well, it's just one, just one match, but first match with this Esper deck, it looks <laughs> kind of pathetic. But this is just our first match, though. I got rid of Krasis, because they, they had a Krasis in hand. And didn't really want them to refill and draw tons of cards. Yep, Field of the Dead has just strong, much stronger inevitability. So I had I had the ability to turn three ego. That's like my only real answer, but you know, they just played a field of the dead already. You know, on their turn two just played field of the dead and then my ego could even take all of them, so they were still just gonna have the other one available and So yeah. There there is not a, an answer to field, really. Like there are there are bad answers. There's not any good answer to field with Blood Sun gone. So yeah, definitely worried. <laughs> yeah, you can steal him with Agent of Treachery. But yeah, it also you're you're correct there, and then you're absolutely correct that um, it also just matches up in very well against this Esper deck, and so it makes it makes uh, you know my Esper deck just made that deck look even better because I had nothing. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Does this Esper deck actually beat anything? Welcome to the feast. Like how do we beat Oko? So we need to have multiple ethereal absolutions in play. Yeah, I, I don't know, Thier. I don't know why there wasn't any answer in Eldraine for Field of the Dead. I was shocked. Because I thought that was like, this is kind of the worst case scenario for wizards. Is that you, to change you know they have rotation? It's new, you know, new format, all that kind of stuff. People are excited about new format, and then it's just field of the dead everywhere. That was the worst case scenario for them, but that's what it looks like. It's turning into already, just a, a few days into the format. It's scary. I think a little merriment is in order.
Hey, that's a real card. Good auto tapping. That was great auto tapping. Thanks, deck. All right, so I figured out how we can beat Anoko. The MCQs are always best of three. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. No, like Esper Mill wasn't really a, a deck that had any spot, any space in the metagame last format. I wouldn't say that it, it did at all. This this deck Behold, true power. was pretty popular there for a little bit. Alright, if you're somebody who plays this deck a lot, you can help me out here, because I, I don't see I don't know I'm not seeing how this deck is supposed to ever win a game. This is this looks terrible. Alright, so what am I supposed to do here? I mean I guess I play another Wrath and some Elder Spells. Or is Dispark? I mean, Dispark's basically just for Nissa. What do, what do I side out with this kind of matchup? Like, what, what am I supposed to be taking out? So we just try this. I don't want this talisman if we don't have as many Teferis. You made a discard deck to beat Field of the Dead last metagame with Ashiok and Kaya as the win con and Soren to recycle creatures. That could work. Do we keep double? Like this is a five card hand. These two cards are, you know, have like no text. So do we keep this five card hand, or do we go down to six? I think we go to six. Jeez. This is maybe the worst deck I've ever played. Oh, wow, this deck is terrible. All 
Uh, we got a 12 hour rank downstream now. Look, <laughs> how does this deck win? I just played Planar Cleansing last last match, and we lost the next turn. Planar Cleansing is an auto win. We played Planar Cleansing, then they played Nyssa. Thanks so much there, Vladimir. Thank you. Doom foretold? Why don't they just say dance with the mans? I, I lose. Yeah, so that that's what it is. We have to draw Doom foretold to win. Because, yeah, we... <clears throat> Our deck doesn't do anything without it. Doesn't seem like it, at least. These games that we haven't had Doom foretold. Our deck looks really bad. Sorry I'm late. I've got time. Well, Doom foretolds are gone. Because people are going to, like, as we saw, like, even my last opponent, the Field of the Dead opponent, had multiple Unmoored Egos and Ashioks. I think people are, like, people are just going to be playing a lot of Unmoored Egos and Ashioks right now, even for Field of the Dead. And which just makes playing this deck even worse. Let's try this. <laughs> There's another ego. If they just cast ego, I lose. I guess I have to take that. <laughs> yeah. More like it. All right, so we need two more lands for the cl planar cleansing. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. And That's what this deck is—is is absolute nonsense. Welcome to the feast. The land shall conquer you. All right, well, we can, uh, yeah. We can go ahead and safely move on. I am, you know, we're going we're gonna to try to win this, you, just let you know, know, but you're up for round two. we don't, which doesn't look likely. I do want to draw a land. I mean, who I knows? Know. Maybe if we That's actually get to fight. play this planar cleansing.
Yeah, Doom Foretold is a non-land, non-token permanent. Yeah, you can't sacrifice uh, Nissa lands to, to Doom Foretold. Hey, Ariel. Welcome. Let's broaden your existence. Now what? So we need it this turn before Nissa ultimates. We need to draw land this turn. Gotta be this turn. Nope. Why would you auto tap like that? Ugh. The very next card. <laughs> oh. Uh, life. Well, I guess I could have tapped better and then maybe had Elder Spell available here. Oh, right. This thing filters my mana, so I could have still cast it, but I forgot about that. So I guess I still could have Elder Spelled. They didn't ultimate Nissa. You show what? The force, I'll show they didn't ultimate Nissa. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Oh, because it's lethal. Correct. Cleansing cleansing Nova would not kill lands. Correct. So even if I Elder Spelled there that last turn, we were still going to be dead to the, the two lands anyway. Because, <clears throat> yeah, like, let's say, let's say I, I do filter. I cast, like, I have to shock to do that. So I shock. I go down to 19. Um, I Elder Spell those. They still had enough, like with what they had in play, and then I planar cleansing, and then they have the the two lands still. They would have the three. Of course, they would have the two lands. They would have killed me. So I I was taking leap. So I didn't have I didn't have any outs there. All right. So O two and with with Esper stacks. Um, I'd have to say that I. Okay, so we saw this deck matches up horribly against. Uh, the Golos Field of the Dead decks. And it looks like those decks are um, really, you know, gaining in popularity for sure. And I don't really expect that to stop. And the hate cards that people want to play against those decks on Mordigo and Ashiok are um, are just really good against this deck. Also, they, they just completely shut down this deck. And yeah, we were not we were not competitive in any like we played the four games we were not even close to competitive in any four games and this felt like one of the worst decks i've ever played so i would not recommend this deck at all basically um yeah i i can't really i can't uh small if that's what that's what i did is i took the 5-0 list and then all i did was i took out the two narsets and put in two more unmoored egos to try to help against field of the dead that's all i did but, but yeah, um, yeah, would not really recommend this deck at all. So I'm sorry for all the people that were excited about it and everything, but I do not plan on ever playing this deck again myself. That was horrible. All right. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, still, I hope you still like the video and, and still got to learn things and everything. Cause you know, I didn't realize that this deck, 
uh, um, you know, struggled so hard against Field of the Dead and everything. And and could could the deck change? Yes. You know, like maybe it's like you know, yeah. Some of y'all are, are saying there in in uh, chat, like yeah, maybe we need to like maybe this deck like there's a different versions that you know are adapting. Like this deck could definitely adapt and change, and it it needs to. That's that's uh, for sure there. Um, but yeah, still please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and leave some comments. Let me know um, if you're if you are an Esper Stacks player. How are you succeeding right now? What are you doing against Field of the Dead? What are you doing against uh, the uptick in Unmoored Ego and Ashiok in people's sideboards? And everything like that. Leave some comments on the YouTube channel. Okay. So um, so there we go. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching some Esper Stacks, and I'll see you for the next video.